The Craft Your Life Project Kit continues to be an exciting addition to the Altenew subscription family. I'm so excited to share my source of inspiration for this perfect pairing and three projects I made using the new Craft Your Life Project Kit. Hello, beautiful. <music> This is the new Craft Your Life Project Kit for September 2021. And just as a reminder, the Craft Your Life Project Kit comes out every 12th of the month and is a wonderful subscription service for those of you who like complete sets, right? So this is the Hello Beautiful Craft Your Life Project Kit. This is a 6x8 stamp set that includes all these wonderful and beautiful outline images, sort of inspired by botanical art, which is why I chose the inspiration for these perfect pairings today is to come from botanical art and from some apothecary labels. And I'm sure from the trifold you noticed that the set has a coordinating simple coloring stencil. So this is great to give you dimensional flowers without the use of any sort of watercolor medium or alcohol ink, though you could definitely do that with these outline sets. The Hello Beautiful embossing folder. This is the 3D embossing folder here. And then of course the coordinating die for this entire set. So these are the four items that you'll get in your Craft Your Life project kits. The illustration style on the Craft Your Life project kit for September 2021 remi immediately reminded me of a different Altenew product. I thought the illustration style pairs beautifully with the Wild Flora 6x8 stamp set. And this is a full outline stamp set um, with coordinating dies as well. And the unique thing about the Wild Flora set is that this was accompanied by a washi tape release. And so this is a nearly 12 inch with a uh, wide roll of washi tape here and we'll end up using all of these products together in a few different sort of perfect pairings inspired by botanical art and by apothecary type bottle labels and art so let's go ahead and start with the first one shockingly one of the comments i received uh lately on the uh, build a flower wild rose or a lot of the comments it consisted of like um, I guess sort of shock that you could incorporate monochrome and really beautiful details in black and white into a card and have it still look feminine and very delicate. So that's one of the things I wanted to show in this first perfect pairing. Off camera I went ahead and stamped all of the flower images in both the Hello Beautiful project kit and also Wild Flora in permanent black crisp ink. And I used my stamp positioning tool to get crisp outlines. I'm going to put away the wild flora images away just for a second and concentrate on my panels that have the Hello Beautiful Project kit images on them. So that's these four. I'm going to pull out the Craft Your Life Project kit Hello Beautiful uh, simple coloring stencils for this next step. And just as a reminder, all four of the components, the simple coloring stencil, the die set, the outline stamp set, and the 3D embossing folder all come as a bundle. So they're not uh, available for purchase separately. Um, they all come as the project kit. So one panel at a time with the simple coloring stencils and the simple coloring layering guide is actually found in the product trifold. Like I said, they all come in a bundle. So you're gonna make sure that you get the um, simple coloring outline stencil guide and layering guide in your product trifold here. Um, so like I was saying, I'm going to use the simple coloring stencils, one panel at a time, to only color the leaves. I'm just using washi tape to temporarily adhere my panel onto my craft mat. And then I'm going to line up my simple coloring stencil here. And like I said, I only want to use the stencil images for the leaves and partial stem images as well. To color these images, I'm going to use Moon Rock from the Warm Gray family of inks and also my uh, small set of mini ink blending tools. And this is my favorite way to use the simple coloring stencils. And I'll show you this for just one of the panels. I'm applying a really, really light layer of Moon Rock to just the base of the leaves. So I'm just trying to get a really smooth gradient from that starts at the base of the leaf. And I'll leave the majority of the tip of the leaf um, uncolored and I'll leave that white. 
And it's really easy to look through the stencil to look for your uh, guide outline. And again, starting from the base of the leaf, I'm going to create a little simple gradient working to the tip of the leaf. So that's one panel done. I'll repeat the same steps for the other three images in Hello Beautiful. All right, so that's my last image in the series of stencils for just leaves. Before I put these panels away, I'm going to color the anthers of the flowers here. So those are the little dots on the flower images. And I'm using the coordinating Altenew Artist marker. This is the one in the B set to just very quickly add in the dots. I'm not trying to be precise about the coloring. If I see an anther, I'm just going to add a dot to it. So you'll see I'm not doing anything precise on this panel here. Before I put the marker away, I'll do the same thing with the anthers on the wild flora images. Now there's no simple coloring stencil for these, so let me work on that real quick. All right, so that's the last of the anthers. Now, like I said, there's no coloring stencil or no layering images to the outlines in wild flora stamp set. Um, so I'm going to still use my moon rock all to new artist marker, but I'm going to color these leaves in a little differently. So let me do a very simple illustration one. I'll do this one down here. And all I'm simply doing is I'm going to very color block style color this leaf, leaving a margin of highlights around the leaf. So this isn't anything too exact. And I'll do the same very roughly for the stems. And then again for the leaf. Again, leaving a pretty generous highlight margin around the perimeter of the leaf. All right, so that's a very rough color of all of the images in Wild Flora. So that's these four here. I have the coordinating die sets for all of these images. So that's the Crafter Life Project Kit Hello Beautiful die set. And then also the Wild Flora die set. So I'll use all of the coordinating dies for these images, and I'll come back when I'm done with that. So I'm not going to use all of these images on one card front. In fact, it looks like I might end up with two or three cards from all of these stamped images. But now I'll work on assembling this floral arrangement. The theme for all these perfect pairings is sort of the apothecary or like bath and body type labels and packaging. That sort of has that vintage botanical illustration sort of look to it and feel to it that I really like. So I'm going to use the Apothecary Labels uh, stamp and nesting die set to create a sentiment and to arrange these flowers around. Off camera, I stamped one of the sentiments from Hello Beautiful in permanent black ink. And then I used the coordinating die from Apothecary Labels nesting die set to cut out the sentiment. Just as an added detail, I'm going to run the brush nib of my moon rock marker, the same marker that I've been using to color the images in Hello Beautiful and Wild Flora, and to just give me a subtle outline around this die cut. So there we go, that's the effect I was looking for. So for my sophisticated and minimalist card, I'm going to arrange my die cut elements and grayscale elements around my sentiment banner here, my Apothecary Labels sentiment banner. And I'll use images from Hello Beautiful and from the Wild Flora stamp sets to get an arrangement that frames my label here. I think it's nice to start one area at a time, and I'm never afraid to cut my stamped images here if that helps give me an arrangement that I'm looking for. And of course, you can always hide those areas underneath your most foreground elements or underneath other floral elements. For example, here on this raw area or here where part of this image has transferred onto the leaf, what I consider this to be done is I have an odd number of focal flowers and there is like a general flow to where they go. So on a panel of spicy yogurt cardstock, I'm using the fine liner pen set to add just a small black frame, about half an inch in on all sides, on my A2 sized card panel. Before I adhere all of my focal elements onto my background, uh, no card of mine is complete with a little bit or 
a lot of splatters so I'm gonna go ahead and use Jet's black ink spray and an Altenew water brush to add my splatter to my background it's going to look like a lot but just remember that a lot of this is going to be covered up by my foreground elements I adhered the black outline and splatter background onto my folded note card base and then I added almost all of my focal elements onto my card front the only thing that's missing is my sentiments banner I'm going to use a little bit of Altenew foam adhesive to raise up my main focal sentiment and I'm just using the center guidelines on my Altenew craft mat to make sure that I still have this centered on my card front before fully pressing it down so I did a second iteration just adding a little bit of color in color block style the only piece I didn't use for both cards was this one so I'll just put it in my stamp packaging and use it for a different project but to finish my card I'm going to use a little bit of the red cosmos and ML dots these are the frosty pink color and there we go that finishes my two cards so far using the hello beautiful craft your life project kit and also the wild flora stamp and die bundle I also incorporated the apothecary labels for that very sophisticated and botanical-like packaging usually found in Bath & Body type products. For my final perfect pairing, I'll make sure to use the larger washi tape that I showed you earlier, as well as the 3D embossing folder that's found in the Hello Beautiful project kit. For my next project, the first thing I'm going to grab is the 3D embossing folder that comes with the Hello Beautiful project kit. And I also have a smaller panel of one of the blues in the Jewel Tone cardstock sampler. I want a dark and moody background for my card here. So what I'm first going to do is just get an idea of where I want the positioning of these floral elements on my card front. I think I'm feeling this orientation here. So what I'm going to do first is run this through my die cutting machine as is. So I actually want the deboss side to my embossing folder. So that's the portion that'll press into my cardstock. So that happens to the, be the side that doesn't have the um, print on it. I'm going to use uh, Jet Black Crisp Ink and I'm just going to lightly run my ink pad over the debossed image. So you'll see some of the embossing folder is picking up the ink from my ink pad. Okay, I think that's good. So now I can get my paper into my familiar orientation by locking it back into my embossing folder. And I'll know when it's snug because I can't wiggle it back and forth anymore. So there is my impression. I love using this letterpress technique uh, by using either side of your embossing folder to get beautiful textured backgrounds and honestly it's really easy and simple to make so I'll set this aside to dry and I'll work on the focal elements of my card front actually I lied before I put this away I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to this piece here again using my jet black crisp ink I'm going to use the larger blending brush you could still use the smaller one but I have the bigger one for this technique to the outside of this panel just a little shadow to give it a little bit more age and then of course I always need splatter on my cards so here comes my jet black ink spray again and my alternate water brush and I'm just gonna so now I will put it away to dry now to use this large washi tape I'm just going to make myself an eight and a half by eleven panel let's see with my two panels here I am just going to pick and choose certain elements to cut out from this panel. Um, I'll do my best to cut right to the edge of the outline of these flower images. I really like this one here, as well as the two lilies over here. And then I might take some of the smaller blue flowers as well and some of the foliage. So I'll just use my crafting scissors to cut out some of these elements that I just pointed out and I'll come back when I have those fussy cut. So I've fussy cut quite a few elements for my card friends here and I've just started to do like a rough arrangement on top of my black debossed uh, blue background here. 
So while I let that, uh, I guess, marinate in my mind, I'll work on the sentiment to my card. I'm really stuck on the um, Apothecary Nesting Labels die set right now, so I'm just going to use it to make a small sentiment banner for the Made With Love Just For You. Before I glue all of my elements together, I have another panel of that same sapphire blue type cardstock as shown as earlier and I'm going to do this again for this background piece just so that it's not such a stark contrast between the two. And while I have this out I'm going to do some direct to ink technique which is add just a fine frame around my background piece here just to help define an outline from my smaller panel on top of this background piece that'll go directly on my note card. So I have this panel glued down to my folded note card base. I already applied a few strips of the foam adhesive to the back of my most foreground background panel. And I'm just going to center it onto my note card. Now as far as the rest of my floral images, I'll basically arrange them on my card's front again. And then lastly, all I need to do is just add my sentiment. And after making a minor adjustment with one of these flowers so that the sentiment shines through, that finishes my perfect pairing with the Hello Beautiful Craft Your Life project kit, as well as the Wild Flora stamp, dye, and washi tape bundle. And just a few cameo appearances with the Apothecary Labels stamp and die set, just to finish the whole Apothecary botanical illustration type vibe that I was going for for all three of these cards. My series encourages you to shop your existing all-to-new stash and rekindle their love with newer releases. Perfect Pairings with JC airs on the all-to-new channel every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Perfect Pairing episode with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello there, crafty friend Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials are just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.